Chris Lee, Blake Lovell, and Blaine Gilmer of Southeastern 14 here to continue our Bold Predictions series for Southeastern Conference football teams for the 2023 season. Gentlemen, I'll start us off. Travis Sparks, one of the more experienced backs in the SEC. He's caught a ton of balls down there. State's going to run the ball a little bit more this year. Here's where I'm going to go. My bold prediction, Marks finishes top five in the SEC in yards from scrimmage this year. Not just going to run it a lot, but going to catch some balls. That is my bold prediction for State, which honestly was tough to come up with one with the coaching change and all those things. But that's what I got. Blake, it's your turn. All right, so I'm laughing not because I don't think it can happen. I'm laughing because mine is also having to do with Jaquavius Marks um, because I, again, if you're wondering why we did some of these in the order we did, like our bowl prediction series, is some of these things were harder than others. And I think when you have this one where there's like just a lot of change in terms of not knowing, you know, offensively, you know it's just going to be much different than we're used to seeing. And so I went with something else that had to do with him and – if you look at it, there were a couple options here. I was like, do I just pick him to go like as a thousand yard rusher? Um, because I think that's a possibility when you just consider what they're going to do. But instead, I don't know if this one's maybe, I think it's bold because I look back at his game logs from the past three seasons. And because of the offense that, that he has been in, he hasn't had a game where he's rushed for a hundred yards. Um, so because they're changing offenses this year, because I think they're going to focus on him more. I'm going to go that Jaquavius Marks rushes for at least 100 yards in six or more games this season. Um, so that's basically half their schedule, right? And so, again, a guy that hasn't done that one time there, and, and again, it's sort of the product, I think, of the offense, but I think because they're going to focus a lot more on that this season, uh, I'll give him at least six 100-yard rushing games this season. And, Blake, to that point – State is not as bad a rushing team as people have perceived. A lot of what, you know, their, their rushing yards were not gaudy a year ago. That's, I guess, a way to put it politely. But if you take out all the times where Rodgers got sacked, the fact that they didn't run the ball a ton, they ran it more last year. You start averaging in yards per carry when you take out sacks. They were a better running team than people think. So I, I don't know that that's, that's a crazy prediction, but I think it's interesting we didn't compare notes and both of us had a prediction centered around him. I, I think he'll have a very good year. Wayne, let's hear from you. I'm going the opposite direction. Are right, y'all are going running the ball? I think, uh, you know, listen, they threw the ball all over the place under Mike Leach, right? It was the air raid, but it was a lot of what, Chris? It was shorter yardage. They were – dead last when it came to yards per attempt last year in the SEC. I think the average on completions was like 6.4 yards uh, every time he completed a pass. I'm going to say the flip, the script gets totally flipped this year because what did Will Rogers talk about at SEC media days? The love for the play action and the love for being able to take some shots down the field. I think when it, you talk about Griffin, when you talk about Wally, when you talk about Robinson, um, when you talk about Xavion Thomas, you talk about the receivers that they have over there. These are guys that are home run threats. These are deep threat guys. They're not necessarily going to be the the best technicians. Uh, you know, they're not going to get mistaken. Um, you know, for maybe maybe some of the more technical route runners out there, but they are explosive and they can absolutely uh, blow the top off. And I think Will Real, Will Rogers has plenty of arm strength to lay it out there. I'm going to go bold prediction and say. Mississippi State goes from worst to first in the SEC in terms of yards per attempt. I think they're going to sling that thing down the field. They're going to run the rock with Jaquavius Marks, which does fit into y'all's predictions there. But I think they're going to establish a run, and then they're going to let they're going to unshackle Will Rogers a little bit here, and he's not going to see as much drop eight. The reason that they had to dump the ball underneath. They always had three, four people way deep down the field trying to prevent the big play in the air raid. I think teams are going to try to be a little bit more aggressive uh, against Mississippi State this year, and I think Will Rogers is going to take advantage of that. That's my bold prediction. Now you want a little sneaky, sneaky, not a not a bold prediction, but just a sneaky little prognostication, if you will. I think the That's first happened. the first touchdown of the season goes to. None other than Rylan Goaty, a tight end. A tight end catches 
the first <laughs> touchdown of the season for Mississippi State. Yes, if, if you uh, slept through your winter and, and spring and summer, uh, Mississippi State now has tight ends on the roster and, and maybe some good ones too. But I, I'm going to give you guys a little bonus here because I, I thought about doing this for this year. It just didn't work out. The math just didn't compute. But I thought about going because Will Rogers got another year after this one, right? Will Rogers, oh. this is my, my advanced prediction for State for 24. <laughs> Rodgers will end his career with 100 more touchdown passes at least than, than picks. Couldn't do it this year because I think that number would have had to been like plus 42. That seems a little much to bite off. But there's there's your bold prediction for Will Rogers' career for next year. Let, let, we, we had a, tr- a lot of trouble this year. Let's just go ahead and get the jump on well, it. Let me save this 30-second this clip for next year. Let me go ahead and just right. have this in the drafts. So. Is that if he doesn't go, before? if he doesn't go pro, he could go pro. I mean, that's true. That's a bold prediction considering that he may go pro. So, <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever been plus one hundred. Seriously, I'd, I'd have to look that one up. In any know. case, we are doing bold predictions for every SEC team. Most of us are only doing one for twenty twenty three. Uh, you get twenty twenty four as a bonus. But uh, seriously, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell a friend. We got one more of these to go. Uh, that will be the Florida Gators. We'll do that one shortly. For Blaine Gilmer and Blake Lovell, I'm Chris Lee of Southeastern 14. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.